Hello everybody, my name is VTech. We have some breaking news today. It looks like straight off the batch, Wade Barrett, Stu Bennett, is going to Ring of Honor. He took a picture with Prince Nana, who is the most randomest person to take a picture with in all of... I don't know how he would be of relation to Wade Barrett in terms of like the wrestling world. I'm not 100% sure. I mean, I'm guessing they're not related. I'm just Well, I know that one, but That's I mean, just that's just an inference. But I mean like in terms of them being buddy buddies, um I don't You've never heard anything. Yeah, so that like, I'm sure like even if we checked on TEW, TEW wouldn't even have this as a friendship. If, if we checked it on like any little small notable reference of them just nowheres um so i think that's crazy wade barrett seems more of a guy who is like the entertainer in my opinion um whereas cody rhodes seems like more of the guy to be the wrestler i want to wrestle so, yeah so you figure like those two are kind of flip-flopped and where you would think they would have ended yeah, up yeah yeah because of course the rumor broke that cody rhodes is going to tna wow um, did not... And Eden's going with him. Like, uh, all right. Oh, that. All right. I'll get into that in a minute. But, um, not about the Eden thing, but in terms of like where his positioning would be if Eden came with him, because it's, exactly, it's so obvious, isn't it? Though. So. All right. Um, Wade Barrett. What do you think he would do in freaking Ring of Honor? I think that'd be cool to see him with New Japan jumping around everywhere but in terms that's of that's what i'm honestly like weird. that was my, my biggest thing is i'm surprised yeah. that he ended up in the united states yeah i thought he would have stayed i thought england i thought maybe even new japan exactly well at least this does you know it does certify that he will have some new japan stuff going on um that's pretty cool in my opinion to see him be there but in terms of it making sense nah nah Prince nah. Well, th this schedule might help him out a little bit more as it pertains to his health because their yes. schedule's a lot less strenuous. Yeah, yeah. Especially if they have him um, just doing pay-per-views, which would be amazing. Yeah, if they just have him doing reg but regular things. I would not book him for that ROH World title right off the, the get-go. Please don't do that. So No. Um. Because I just don't really I would want keep to see him, him. I would honestly keep him away from the Bullet Club. Yeah, I, I don't want to see him work with the Bullet Club because that's too much. Because um, right now we, we know the Bullet Club isn't ever going under. Yeah. It'd at be, this current moment at least. It'd be really cool to see like a Nexus style thing going on in ROH. With him taking under like the younger guys. Um, yeah, if he takes a bunch of the younger guys, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah. Because I always thought the Nexus was a good sto a good concept. Yeah, but I think the awkward thing is Wade Barrett is a go-to heel, so to see him be cheered is like, all right. But I mean, he'll probably get cheered anyways, um, because he'll be back. But I think he'd be better as a heel, so. Yeah, well, we we'll get that. cheered at first, and then he'll do something heelish. Yeah, I think Cody Rhodes would definitely be a lot better in Ring of Honor, um, because I could see Wade Barrett working much more perfectly. In TNA, even though his schedule would be more strenuous, um, so where's that? Uh, on to Cody Rhodes though. If he's going to TNA, then he works the thing with Mike Bennett. <sighs> I really don't that, want that to happen. That, it, I it, I don't like it because I don't because it's Mike Bennett will lose. <laughs> Like, yeah, I don't see there's no way they're gonna over. let they're gonna let Cody Rhodes lose his first feud in TNA. Yeah, so I think that's really sad um, if they do that to Mike Bennett because I think personally they should let his first feud be with Eli Drake, which is why they should have had this the King of the Mountain title still around. I I will tell you who he should be feuding with, um, and it'd be a great one, but it's the way. TNA works is very tricky because you have EC3 going with the whole Lashley route, Aaron Rex with um, Galloway, Eli Drake is kind of in the mix, so Eli Drake would be perfect to go against Cody Rhodes. Um, uh, Mike Bennett's kind of just hanging around now too, which is kind of sad. But Mike Bennett has that whole like impending thing with Moose. 
Yeah, so that's like... Like, I feel like those two are going to end up feuding eventually. Yeah, that's why they shouldn't mess around with that too much. Um, but hey, there's that news. So, uh, tell us your thoughts down below.